Greetings and welcome to my channel. My name is Abagnatius and this is... Uh, what is it called? A Ground Zero. I'm not good with names. I'm not good with game names. It's just a fact. I love the game though. So far I really like what I'm seeing. Oh! Hello, tomato. Five! Oi! Let's eat. Oh, 20 each. Thank you. All that all that's missing now is a burp. Okay, going into nutri blocks, which I didn't last episode. Okay, made from fossilized plants. Nutri nutrient blocks are probably safe for human consumption. But you may prefer real plants grow in hydroponics. Uh, this looks like debris from a bunker. What this? There were supposed to be many of these for survivors to live once they awoke, but it looks like they were destroyed. Uh, if you find it is mental enough debris, you could create... I could create a blueprint for you to build a new bunker. The power of the battery and hy pa the hydroponics, you need to connect them to the generator. Buildings adjacent to a generator will auto-connect, but if they are further away, you can craft cables in the assembler using gold wire. You place them uh, from the toolbar and remove them with laser drill. Laser drill, okay. <coughs> okay. And now that you have food and power, things are looking pretty good. At least if you ignore the fact that you're buried deep in the ground with little chance of reaching the surface, a surface which may already be destroyed. Cheerful. But maybe uh, life won't be so bald, so bad. <laughs> So bad down here. You can use the fabricator to improve this cavern. And you might even find other survivors uh, who got buried down here during the caving. Oh, that was three tomatoes. Okay. Unlocked new blueprints in the fabricator. So not every um, not every time generates the same amount of fruit. Okay. That is good to know. And we are down to 100. So we've... I've gone through about 25 food now. <coughs> <coughs> which means uh, which means that we will definitely meet, need more than one of these. Uh, okay. Storehouse. Stores items. And this place dispatches them to factories and generators connected by belts. Items can enter any site. Size 2 by 2 by 2. There will be 5 steel bars, of which I have 2. Gold wires, of which I have 2. I uh, 1. And 15 power. So I need steel. And then I am, of course, going to build first the. Um, the. Um, tell me. The storehouse. <coughs> Good storage is always at the core of any factory. Oops. Having a bit of excess coal is also never a bad thing. <coughs> never dig straight up. Nor down, for that matter. Oh, talking of which, there is uh, there is the rock layer which we cannot break through on top of us. But what about down? Below us? Oh, let's dig a stair. We 
Before you go hog wild digging holes, I would like to warn you that you cannot fill them until you craft a materializer in the electronics lab. That's why I chose this. Ah. Okay, that would be a no. Three below us and from walking thing about three above us. Okay. So this layer is three, six, eight, eight blocks deep. Which we can dig in, dig around in at at will. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm going to keep eating until I'm full in food. That is a lesson I've learned from all any and all survival games. Eat as much as you can whenever you can. It's pretty much the same as normal survival as well. Um, I will also start digging out quite a cavern here. With uh, the target being that I get room, room to build and lots of it. What is this? Some sort of crystal. Uh, watch out, you're running low on power. Without power you will not be able to use any of your tools. The best way to recharge is to find a battery unit and hold the retrieve ba uh, battery power button. I happen to have two of those here. Uh, your protosuit can also extract small amounts of ambi ambient energy, so if you turn off your flashlight you can slowly recharge your batteries. The amount of energy produced can be upgraded with upgrade chips. Let's test this. Hmm? You can uh, turn flashlight, yes. Turning off flashlight. Ah, and the energy is rising. That's good to know. Now there should be a receive battery, retrieve battery power. And we're full. Perfection. Let me take those four tomatoes this time. Uh, and eat until full. On 98, and let's risk wasting one. 200, and now I'm not hungry. 199, I'm hungry again, and I can waste the tomato. Okay, good to know. Okay, okay. Um. Looks like I need to be three high. This is now going to take a little bit of time. Because I want to go about this deep. Apologies. I want to have space to build a storage. I want to have space to build a second one of these. After all, I am gathering that there are that we are going to have more people relatively soon. And it would make logical sense to assume that those more people are also going to want to eat something. And for that, I want to have tomatoes ready. First, I want them. I want to have tomatoes ready in storage, and second, I want to have a sufficient amount of production ready, so I can actually um, confidently uh, feed feed the people. That is going to be happening right here. Perfection. Okay. Um, nope. I cannot yet fill in the ground. Uh, fill in the ground. Okay. I'm also out of storage space. So let's begin uh, with steel wall bars. Let's turn everything into bars. Okay. Why the assembler is portable? It's not as efficient as a factory. 
factories will continue to craft the specified uh, recipe until they run out of materials or power. And they can even request more materials from storehouses connected in by conveyor belts. What about the... Uh, 100 seconds of fuel each. Also, I'm pretty much out of coal. Is there a way for me to synthesize coal, I wonder? Because this is going to mean that I'm going to run out of power at some point. Uh, but first, what I need to do is build a second hydroponics. That is a bit of iron ore, but well. Ah, no, no, can I, can I rotate? Uh, no. Is there a way for me to rotate this? Q. Ah. Perfection. Now I can build this. Both are pointing... Yes, towards the same space, which means with the conveyor belt I can get everything here into the waiting storage. Question is, do I have conveyor belts yet? Base, production, factory, hydroponics, power, generator, battery? Uh, nope. Not yet, but that is definitely no issue. Let's do it this way. Steel bar 5, gold wire 1. I should have just, just everything needed. Perfect. And now I'm curious. Is this thing close enough? Nope. Maybe like this, okay. <coughs> I have one of each, okay. And ten tomatoes. It's 100 hungers. For the moment, let's just this is diamond, okay. Let's just fill this in and the tomatoes. Wonderful. Now I need to go and dismantle bunker debris. Um, I also want to build a fabricator. A factory. Crafts items. Requires 5 power per second. Steel bar, gold wire and some other stuff. Can this request stuff directly from... from the thing? That's, a, well, that's what I wonder. Ah, okay, let me, let me do this first. I then realize that I'm a bit of an empty because there is no energy connecting everything. Uh, I definitely need um, tell me, conveyors. With a little bit of luck, they are going to count. Though it is, it is uh, somewhat wishful thinking, but maybe, maybe we're lucky. So let's go find more. Oh, oh, nope. Sorry, sir, I am already gone. Hmm. Do you really have to be such an empty? Just do some straight digging and uh, I hope that I'll find some stuff. Oh, I'm also running a bit low on power, I can see. There's 
also something else I would like to make. Okay, so this is a box. Let's just mine out everything here. Never dig down straight. Okay, let's get this iron. Or rather, this iron. Good, let's go here. <coughs> We've got nine iron ore now, okay. Let me just continue mining until battery is spent. Actually, this one is better because it yields some resource. Okay. We are now out of battery. Let's deactivate the light. Okay. And now we can mine more. Okay, let's go back home and what are these? Can I open these? I can open these! Uh, no. Assembler blueprints, nutrient blocks. And materializer. Oh, that one makes... Probably this one is to fill in blocks, isn't it? But I've probably um, gotten it a bit early. Uh, okay, and let me one second go here and make some steel bar. Oh, not enough power. Let's go get some power. Okay. Needing three and two gold wires. Okay. Uh, let me fill in all of that. Can I right click? Nope. Uh, right click to take half. Okay. Okay, and now I can build this. Okay, in theory... This should then be providing stuff, but this needs power. Though maybe it doesn't. When the progress bar reaches 100%, the item will be dropped out of the structure at the thingy, okay? Let's put this to the test. Okay, and here, seven tomatoes, of which I'm going to eat a couple. <coughs> or rather, all of them. Boom. Okay. Uh, I've got some new blueprints. Battery storehouse chest. Ooh, chest. Stores up to 10 items, can be pushed around. One by one by one. It also requires some power, okay. Power production, okay. I still need to find more bunker debris. Okay, uh, let me now uh, let me 
get rid of everything I'm currently carrying. So I have space for all the bunker debris. Okay, did I take this already? No, nope. uh, I mean yes. That was the second one. Or, or, or am I dreaming? Probably. Let's just dig straight. And I found something. Ooh, bunker debris. Good. Let's continue digging here. Oh, found something new. Mostly, ooh, tons of bunker debris. Tons of bunker debris, cool. That was likely another bat. I can hear it. Okay. What is this? This is water. Okay. Cool. Let's take the bunker debris. Let me take more bunker debris. Okay. And stick straight straight back home. Okay. So now fill in the gaps missing yada yada. <coughs> Once you build a bunker. And we've got some tomatoes. We can start waking up other survivors and get a little underground settlement going. Build a bunker. Place to rest uh, for up to four people. Produces oxygen, requires two powers per second. 30 steel bars, six gold wires, 100 power. Okay, I will actually place the bunker right here. Uh, how, how, how big is it going to be? Holy moly, looks like a 4x4, four four, huh? And I'm going to place it right adjacent to these batteries so that it has power. Adjacent, adjacent. Uh, two, three, four. This thing is big. One, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm also going to make a little walkway. Uh, Uh, for me to walk behind the bunker <coughs> using this ramp so I can again walk behind the bunker I just hope I will not have to defend this place because if I do be, be, because if I do the fact that I turned it into Swiss cheese will not be helpful A couple more. Perfect. Now we can walk behind the bunker. Wonderful. Uh, we have to go. 
Ah, let me do this. This way I can have the door uh, looking, looking out here. Okay, uh, let's build the bunker. Or at least let's place the blueprint. Building is another, is another thing entirely. Let me add all the resources I can. And see. I should have some stuff in here which can be helpful that way. Okay, uh, the gold wire, which I'm going to need. Nutrient blocks. Tomatoes. Okay. Okay, um, let me place... That was F, of course, because F is usually the use key. Okay, um, what was... Ah, that was this, okay. Now, uh, first let me go here and make some more steel bars. halfway done. 15 steel bar and 3 gold wire left. Okay. Um, okay. <coughs> I'm going to mine and construct this uh, in between episodes. And the next episode will be when this bunker is finished. So, until then, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and know the drill if you so choose. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.